color in coordination compounds. I will teach you the complete concept and exam question of color in coordination compounds. Firstly, let me teach you an important question. Why coordination compounds are colored? Well, to answer this question, we learn the splitting of D orbital. Consider a metal atom having 5 D orbitals. I bring a strong ligand like NH3 near it. Here, there will be interaction between this NH3 ligand and 5D orbital of the metal. As a result of this interaction, the 5D orbital splits into two sets, T2G and EG. Now listen carefully. Let a visible light fall on this electron. After absorbing a specific wavelength, this electron will jump from lower energy orbital to higher energy orbital. After some time, this electron will radiate the absorbed wavelength and it will jump back to lower energy level. Now this radiated wavelength or this radiated color by the electron will enter into our eyes and we will see that the coordination compounds are colored. Thus we learn that it is because when an electron jumps from higher energy level to lower energy level, it radiates wavelength. We see the radiated wavelength and the coordination compounds are therefore colored. Here, remember this very very important point. Firstly, metal atom and secondly, ligand are must to form coordination compounds. Only then we will be able to see the color compounds. For example, consider these two compounds. We know that copper sulfate is colorless because it has no ligand and no splitting of d orbital is possible in it. While copper sulfate 5H2O is colored because it has ligand H2O and splitting of d orbital is possible in it. Thus note it down these important points. Now we will learn important condition for color of coordination compounds. Here are two important conditions. The first one is DD transition. We already learned the splitting of D orbital to T2G and EG. Now listen carefully. When an electron jumps from lower energy D orbital to a higher energy D orbital, it is known as DD transition. Thus we say that DD transition means the shifting of electron from lower energy D orbital to a higher energy D orbital is called DD transition. The second condition is partially filled orbital. Remember that coordination compounds are colored if their D orbital have 1 or 9 electrons. While coordination compounds are colorless, if their d orbital have 0 or 10 electrons. For example, consider these two cases. In the first case, the d orbitals are partially filled. It has 4 electrons in d orbitals. DD transition is possible in it. Hence, this coordination compound is colored. In the second case, we can see that d orbitals are completely filled having 10 electrons in it. DD transition is not possible in it. Hence, this coordination compound is colorless. To summarize this whole concept, we learn these important conditions for the color of coordination compounds. The first one is DD transition and the second one is partially filled D orbital. Without fulfilling these conditions, any coordination compound is colorless. Hence note down these important conditions. Now we will learn the concept of absorbed light and complementary light. Also we will learn one important JEEMCQs. We know that white light is a combination of colors. Web cure. Remember that from left to right wavelength increases and energy decreases. Now I draw this wheel. I write here V. I leave I or indigo. 
एंड आई गो क्लॉक वाइज आई राइट बी जी वाई ओ आर हेयर दिस इज द कलर व्हील विच वी यूज टू प्रिडिक्ट द कलर ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर दिस कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड लेट लाइट फॉल्स ऑन इट इट एब्जॉर्ब ब्लू कलर फ्रॉम द लाइट न लिसन केयरफुली एंड द कलर व्हील अपोजिट टू द ब्लू कलर इज ऑरेंज कलर दिस कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड रेडिएट ऑरेंज कलर आर आईज विल सी दैट दिस कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड इज ऑरेंज कलर्ड दिस ऑरेंज कलर इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज कंप्लीमेंट्री कलर दिस वी से दैट एब्जॉर्ब कलर इज द वन when a coordination compound absorb a particular color of a light while complementary color is the one the color which our eyes see now consider this example let this coordination compound absorb green color can you guess its complementary color well it is super easy and the color wheel opposite to the green color is red color our eyes will see this coordination compound is red thus the complementary color is red now using this concept we will crack one important jee main question consider this mcqs the color of light absorbed by an aqueous solution of copper sulfate is dash well we know that aqueous solution of copper sulfate is copper sulfate 5h2o and its color is blue green we see the aqueous solution of copper sulfate as a blue green hence blue green is the complementary color and the question we are asked about the color of light absorbed by the aqueous solution of copper sulfate and the color wheel if the complementary color is blue the absorbed color is orange this aqueous solution of copper sulfate absorb orange red color and radiate blue green color hence the correct option is a this noted down this important concept of absorbed light and complementary light now we will start learning exam and jee main questions for example consider this question why these coordination compounds are colorless well many people have different approach to solve these types of questions in a very difficult way which students usually do not understand i will teach you my super easy way to master it we already know that coordination compounds are colored if their d orbitals have one up to 9 electrons while coordination compounds are colorless if they have 0 or 10 electrons now in case of first compound i find the oxidation state of the metal atom which is zinc i write zinc plus there are four molecules of nh3 we know that nh3 is a neutral molecule having zero charge i write zero is equal to the total charge on coordination sphere is positive 2 i write positive 2 after calculation i get zinc is equal to plus 2 thus the oxidation state of zinc is plus 2 secondly i write the electronic configuration of zinc we know that the atomic number of zinc is 30 here argon accommodate 18 electrons 3d accommodate 10 electrons and 4s accommodate 2 electrons hence this is the electronic configuration of zinc now the electronic configuration of zinc plus 2 ion is argon accommodate 18 electrons 3d accommodate 10 electrons this positive charge on zinc means that zinc has lost 2 electrons hence these two electrons and 4s is lost we can see that the metal atom zinc has 10 electrons in 3d we already know that dd transition is not possible in 8 because d orbitals are completely filled thus this compound is colorless 
Now, in case of the second coordination compound, the central metal atom is copper. I find its oxidation state. I write copper plus 4 into 0 is equal to plus 1. After calculation, I get plus 1. Here, the oxidation state of copper is plus 1. The electronic configuration of copper is argon accommodate 18 electrons, 3D accommodate 10 electrons, and 4S accommodate 1 electron. Secondly, the electronic configuration of copper plus 1 ion is argon accommodate 18 electrons, 3D accommodates 10 electrons. This positive charge on copper ion means that it has lost one electron in the 4S orbital. So this is the electronic configuration of copper plus one ion. We can see that there are 10 electrons present in 3D orbital. DD transition is not possible in it because D orbitals are completely filled. Thus this compound is colorless. Therefore, using this method, we can easily tell whether a coordination compound is colored or colorless. Hence, note it down this very very important calculation. Now we will learn some advanced concepts of color and coordination compounds which will help you to crack any JEE man question. Firstly, remember this easy trick of weak field ligand and strong field ligand. I say, so NCP. NCP reminds me non-custom pad where S stands for sulfur, O stands for oxygen and H stands for halogens. Ligands in which donor atom is sulfur, oxygen or halogen, they are weak field ligands. Remember that weak field ligands cause smaller splitting of D orbitals. On the other hand, N stands for nitrogen, C stands for carbon, and P stands for phosphorus. Ligands in which donor atoms are nitrogen, carbon, and phosphorus, they are called strong field ligands. Remember that strong field ligands cause larger splitting of D orbitals. Thus note it down this easy trick of weak field and strong field ligands. Now consider this question of JEE man exam. The octahedral complex of a metal ion with four monodentate ligands L1, L2, L3 and L4 absorb wavelength in the region of red, green, yellow and blue respectively. The increasing order of ligand strength of the four ligands is dash. Well, we know that if a ligand is strong, it will cause larger splitting of D or metal. Now I write the colors of light, web cure. From left to right, wavelength increases. When wavelength is larger, energy is smaller. Remember that smaller energy will cause smaller splitting of D or battle. Let me repeat it. Smaller energy will cause smaller splitting of D or battle. Also we know that Smaller splitting of D orbital is due to weak field ligand. At the left hand side, violet color has smaller wavelength, greater energy and more splitting of D orbital. We know that larger splitting of D orbital is due to strong field ligand. Now I write the ligands and their respective color. L1 absorb red color. L2 absorb green color, L3 absorb yellow color, and L4 absorb blue color. According to the information, L1 is the weak ligand because it absorbs red light. Then L3 is a weak ligand because it absorbs yellow color. L2 is a strong ligand because it absorbs green color. While comparatively, L4 is the strongest ligand because it absorbs blue color. Thus the correct option is B. Hence note it down this important MCQs. Now consider this MCQs of JEE man exam. 
Three complexes absorb light in the visible region. The correct order of the wavelength of light absorbed by them is dash. Well, we can see that all these three complexes have the same metal atom which is cobalt. I cut it. Secondly, all the complexes have the same NH3. I cut these five NH3 molecules, these five NH3 molecules. In this case, out of six NH3, I cut five NH3 molecules. Now, in the first case, the ligand is chlorine. In the second case, the ligand is H2O. And in the third case, the ligand is NH3. According to the trick, so NCP, chlorine is a halogen and it is a weak ligand. Oxygen is the strong ligand, while NH3 is the strongest ligand. We know that weak ligand causes smaller splitting of d orbital. Smaller splitting of d orbital means lower energy and larger wavelength. While the stronger the ligand is, the larger is the splitting of d orbital. The higher is the energy and the lower is the wavelength. Thus first ligand absorbed the longest wavelength, then the second one ligand and then the third one absorbed the smallest wavelength. So the correct option is B. Hence note down this important MCQs. Finally, let me teach you one exception case. Why hexafluorofurate is colorless and hexafluorocobalt is colored? Well, the oxidation state of iron in this complex is plus 3. The electronic configuration of iron plus 3 ion is argon accommodate 18 electrons and 3D accommodate 5 electrons. Now listen carefully. According to the rule, D1 up to D9 this complex should be colored because it has 5 electrons in 3D orbital. But wait a minute. If there is D5 electron configuration with weak field ligand, the complex is usually colorless. Let me repeat it. If there is D5 electronic configuration with weak field ligand, the complex is usually colorless. Hence note it down this important point. Here, Fluorine is a halogen and it is so weak ligand that it doesn't cause splitting of D or betel having 5 electrons. As a result, no DD transition occur, thus hexafluorofurate is colorless. On the other hand, the oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3. The electronic configuration of cobalt is argon accommodate 18 electrons and 3D accommodate 6 electrons. Here, there are 6 electrons present in the d orbital, not the 5 electrons in the d orbital. Thus, there are unpaired electrons present in d orbital. d transition is possible in it, thus it is a colored compound. Therefore, we say that hexafluorofurate is colorless and hexafluorocobalt is colored. Thus noted down this important exception case.